Hello again. <laughs> Welcome back to Bliss in the Chaos. Right now we are opening another box. This one is from California. It's from shopgoodwill.com. It's a 32 pound box of random jewelry. I don't remember what the thingy said. It's like a grab lot of jewelry and so far it's been pretty darn fun very very tangled but super duper fun i'm really enjoying it if you've been watching my other videos you know that at this point i am just collecting jewelry honey honey shush i am just collecting jewelry to sell in my eventual yard sale which should be pretty fun i love yard sales anyway um anything that's broken or just not Bleh, not well made or anything is going to go into the craft pile that I will sell in a lot online or in a big free pile at the yard sale. Who knows? I don't know. We'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I don't know. I will keep you apprised of everything that goes on. But for right now, we're going to keep on digging through. This is video number three in this series. I have no idea how long it's going to be because this box is still pretty dang full. Eric is behind me playing a video game with his brother. I know. He's probably going to be a little bit loud, so I'll have to hush him a couple of times until I eventually kick him out so he goes to his room. We'll see. <laughs> All right. Yeah. This has been hard to get stuff out of. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. That's a lot. It is a lot. Ooh. It's been hard to get stuff out of here because it is so darn tangled. So we're going to try just making a big mess. There we go. Let's see what comes out and what doesn't. <laughs> what a mess. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is stuck there. This is stuck there. Me too, I'm not a ghoul, okay? Don't call me a ghoul, that's mean. A ghoul? No, I'm a ghoul. A girl? What does that mean? Don't call me that. Why does that mean? I see him. Girls are cool, you know? Okay, I didn't drop too much. Nice. So this is a humongous pile. We may or may not get through this entire pile, but it looks like a lot of fun. Eric Matthew. Honey, you can take one of those charging cords to your room if you'd like. Okay? Anyway, this is going to take a while. We'll see how well we do. <laughs> Excuse me. Goodness gracious. Let's see what we can find. Okay, first thing that came out is this lovely gold tone bracelet. It is from John Wind. John Wind. I'll have to look that up, but it's a gold tone, big old lobster clasp here. It looks like somebody added their own charm. Yep, this is a different one. This is from Maximal Art, a J charm on this lovely gold tone bracelet and I will separate those just because this will be more marketable if it's by itself and that'll go to my pin pendant etc pile. Here's a fun and expensive bangle. Here's a it's a little cat eye bee but it's otherwise it's a pretty plain earring. We have a oh it's missing quite a few little gems there that's too bad. I don't think I'll take the time to fix it, though. We'll put that in the lot. Ooh, what do we have over here? Something I'm not going to be able to get out. Oh, God, this guy. This is going to be awful. If you don't like untangling, you might want to skip. <laughs> but don't, because I, I, I love you. Please watch. Okay, this here is a silver tone, like a gunmetal color, with black faceted... Ooh, it's melted. Look at that. It came into contact with something and melted like crazy. That's weird. That otherwise was pretty cool and it is marked ch i'll have to look that up because i don't know what it is ch but yeah that'll go in a lot i'm not going to look it up anyway because it's in the lot because it's melted okay this one come on buddy this one has a clasp i will take the clasp off here we go to reclasp it. This is a lovely, chunky, very fun and textured silver tone chain with all these lovely little V's all over it. And then the bottom, this very fun geometric shape with a little door knocker dealy there. That is beautiful. I really like that. Too so. Okay. We've got more stuff in here. Ooh, another bolo tie. Cool. Last video we had a bolo tie. Oh, it's missing its thing. 
it's missing its dangle. So sad when bolo ties are missing their dangles. But this is cute. It's a silver tone with a big old cabochon. No, it's not a cabochon. It's a faceted gem. I think it's faux leather. Pretty certain. I smelled it even though I should not have, you know. You know how I like to smell things. But that's going to go in the craft pile just because. And if I can't find a thing for it, then I can't. This looks like fun. This is fun. I like it. Okay. This one. Come on. What are you doing here? Okay. It's a big old silver tone with all these red large beads. This is looking like stone. The worms right up though. I don't know if it's like supposed to be like a molded stone or something. Oh well. I don't think it's real stone anyway. It doesn't feel like it. it's light. And all these fun little pieces. Little bits and pieces all over. This is really cool. I like it. Very cool. I'm not done with this white. Okie dokie. What can we get out of here? <laughs> this is not going to go well. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay. Just kind of pull from the top and see what falls out. Okay, we got a bit to work with here. So here's a bit of gold chain. This is a Cookie Lee chain. Looks to be busted. You know, I might actually have this one. It looks familiar. I don't know. I think I might have this one elsewhere. This is, it's broken. I mean, it's, look, it's, blah, blah, blah. it's Cookie Lee. Cookie Lee. Focus. There it is, Cookie Lee. And it's broken down here. This is super, super easy to fix. All it is is the jump ring that we have to fix back together there. So that'll go in my fix pile. That'll be easy. This is lovely. This one, is it marked? It is. What do you say? VCLM. It's VCLM, and these are definitely plastic beads. And it's got this really cool cross. And all the little gems are there, blues and purples. Neat. Sell that. <laughs> this came out real nice and easy. This has a toggle clasp. A little toggly right in there. Very nice. And it is marked back here. It says PD. So it could be Premier Designs, perhaps. Very nice. No way. And we've got. So go over here. Then over here. Ooh, look at this one. This is a silver tone chain. Yep, not pretending to be silver, silver, but hey, it's a pretty little chain and it's got this real nice hunk of hematite at the end. Very shiny. Really nice little finding there, too. That's pretty. Gotta love hematite. Okay, and I haven't had anybody fight me on the pronunciation of hematite yet, whether it's hematite or hematite, but when I grew up, it was hematite, so that's what it is. Okay, so this one is one of those coated wires, and it's got all these lovely little beads. They're kind of pretty these little guys and then it's got a piece of stone or glass it's frosted and it's wire wrapped and it's kind of pretty yeah sure we'll sell that Here's tangle tangle okay hmm. so let's see I am filming this in the first week or so of July, 2020, and it is ridiculously hot where I live. And I'm in Michigan and it's like hot. It's like been 90 degrees and higher the past several weeks. It cooled down a little bit today to give us a little thunderstorm, which was nice, but 
Seriously, I cannot take this weather. <laughs> and we're also building our deck, which is, I want to say almost done, but that's probably being a little bit optimistic, <laughs> saying it's almost done because it's we've got a long way to go. Oh, gosh. I don't know if I'm going to bother to untangle all of this while you guys watch because yeah, it's quite tangled. Delicious. Quite tangled. Oh, my gosh. So let's kind of peek at what we have here. Unless you like hearing me talk about the weather. How are you? <laughs> the rose I planted looks really nice. It's like a peachy coral colored rose. It's called Emma. And it's very beautiful. It's doing very well where I planted it. Anyway, okay. So we've got a gold chain here that's tangled up in this. This is an elephant. This is cute. In the silver tone chain with an elephant on it. I think I might have two or maybe three gold chains in here. Honey, shoosh, that's your pile. Right there. Yes. Yeah, that's your pile. Okay, it's got a key at the end. It's very cute. Does not appear to be marked. This other one has like a lotus flower on it, and it's very cute. Let's look at the ends here. Okay, the lotus. No, this is the key end, not marked. This must be the lotus flower end. Also not marked. And then this is the elephant end. Also not marked. And I'll untangle those later because, no, we don't have time. <laughs> well, I got all the time in the world, but I don't know how long you guys want to watch. Watch me untangle stuff, right? Who knows? It's going to be a new shoe here. I don't want to lose you. <laughs> I, I won't lose you, Eric, right? Will you live here forever? I don't want to die. We, well, no. Do you want to live with Mommy forever? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. That's nice. Do you think you'll ever get married? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't have to. It's not a rule. There aren't any rules, really, for living life. I know. Be like, whatever, I do what I want. Totally. PL, what's PL? Pull. What does PL say? This pull. one, thankful. Pull, pull. Your path crossed pull. mine. That's cute. Pull. 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 <laughs> Is it a voice that's spelled with P L Paddle? Pe How do you spell Pedal? Pedal? Pedal. 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 Like pedal. flower pedal or a pedal on your bike. There are two different words for pedal. P-E-T-A-L -E -E is petal on a flower. That is my testing stone. Thank you for bringing that to my attention. <laughs> okay, this is bent. Is this? this is good to sell. This is Ooh. really cute, actually. Is this edible? Is this edible? No, it's not edible. It's vintage, honey, but the clasp is broken, which is very unfortunate because it's cool. I definitely want to get these two apart. So if you're, I think I can fix this when I'm grown up. Can fast forward if you want to. I think this I is can gonna take me a minute. This. Grown up. Yeah, I could find a vintage clasp and fix it too, but I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I can like just there. put glue on okay. this and then just this one here looks kind of special. Glue on that end and then okay, then so stick it on. I might be then, wrong. It does not. It's not marked at all, but it's a silver tone chain and this cute little then, dude at the end mm -hmm. says, "I am it, thankful your path crossed like mine." The inside it does say nine two five. Like, inside of there with an L A. Like I've seen that before so that's very sweet put that in my silver mug because I'm gonna probably sell that not at the yard sale this almost looks like a clam that okay, I can this one open. it does look like a clam let's not work with that though because that's still my this is all still my pile this that's all your pile okay hmm thanks okay like so this is the PL and it has a What's little that? cross in the chain there. Very cute. And then it also has a, an evil eye. With sorts of little gems in it. It's really cool. I like that. This pie is pretty. Foam. I know, and it's broken. You see how that one got peeled? It's really too bad, because it was pretty. They were neat. I, can, I think I can glue this. I don't know, I think you'd notice it. I really think you'd notice it if you were to glue it. I thought about that too, but yeah, I don't think it will. 
I can like paint, paint the white. Oh, somebody's angry. Yellow. Okay. Like, so this one is white, ooh, Robert Rose. Robert Rose. Come here, buddy. Well, it's just, Sorry, it's I'm just having a hard off. time. I can't tell. I yeah. can just. Sorry, I'm having well, a hard time showing you this one. It. Robert Rose. There we go. And this is um, this is just a big but plastic this can piece. Be used. And it's like antique bronze chains. This is cool. Clean it up. That looking nice. It's a ear spruce thing, That's and it it will weigh so. Gosh, this is a pile. Isn't this a pile? My goodness. Yeah. I love my little helper. He's so sweet. Okay, let's see what we got in here. Ooh, look at that. And look at that. Ooh, we got a bolo tie out. Ah! And an earring back. Oh, this is neat. Okay, so this is another pretty sure faux leather. I don't know. That might be real leather. Little bolo tie. And this one has like the antique gold and this stone. I'm pretty sure it's just resin because it looks like a swirl. Resin almost. It might be stone. I'm holding against my cheek. Well, I suppose it might be stone. It's really cool, whatever it is. I like it. Neat. Neat. Oh. I'll check this out. We can get this out of here. Oh, I'm so sorry about the tangles, guys. This is ridiculous. Ma, oh, my. Okay. This one is very discolored around the back of the neck, which is unfortunate. But the rest of it is like a gold tone chain and it's got this lovely little geode looking thing. It's probably some quartz. With the like funky gold and it looks like it's missing something, probably a tassel. I'll set that to the side too, because that is fairly broken. Okay, here's a Santa. <laughs> Oh, how sweet are you? It's a little Santa pendant on a gold chain. He's not marked. The chain itself is also not marked. He's just very sweet, little Santa. Don't shoot. <laughs> Poor Santa. This one is broken. Oh my goodness. Okay. This should be a very easy fix. It's just, again, another of the oof, findings that needs to be reattached. That's easy enough. So otherwise, not marked, and it's this lovely little, like, acrylic beads. That's cool. So we'll fix that. We got some purple shells here. Not marked, but it's got beads and purple shell. Kind of chunky. Okay, sure, we'll sell that. Wow, it's like where to start, where to go, who knows? Okay. I wanted to do this one for a little while, but I can't get to the end of it yet. And I don't wanna make it worse, so we'll wait on that one. Oh, hey, a feather, how did that even survive this trip? It did so rather well, this lovely peacock feather. Put that in my feather pile. Where'd my feather pile go? Who knows, it probably got put away somewhere when I clean my office. That's why I shouldn't clean my office because it always gets, I can never find anything. It's very annoying. <laughs> oh, Okay, this bracelet is orange and rhinestone-y and kind of fun and they're all there. So yeah, we'll put that in the cell pile. This one I thought was gonna be an earring, but it's not, it's a fun, fun pendant. Yeah, the pendant hangs down like that. It's cool. And then the end of it's way in here somewhere. <laughs> the boys are talking about how they ate too much dinner. Eric may have, Charlie did not. They're not talking about dinner. They're talking about something else. Who knows? Children are strange. 
Okay. Oh. This is like me feeling defeated already. It's awful. Okay, it's a lovely red faceted earring. This one here. I mean, this is like my dream, but I don't want to like bore you guys by doing nothing but nothing but untangling. I freaking love it. I could do it all day. Oh, dang it. There's a gem missing from that one. Too bad. Okay, let's see if we can get this big old chunk of gold out of here. Because it seems to be quite a problem piece for my tangles. out. Look at those next because those are really pretty. Okay. Chunk of gold. Come on. There we go. These wire earrings don't help any. No, oh, we did it. Look at this hunk. Get over there. Oh, sorry. Not you, phone. Thank you very much. Okay. Wow. It needs to be like. Definitely needs to be um, like greased or something. Okay, this is a collar, gold tone. It's awesome. I can't believe this is not signed because it's really cool. Isn't that neat? Wow, it looks tight too, like really tight. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, it's like choker style. It kind of, it's not, no, it's not too tight, but it is definitely choker style. Gosh, that's cool. I'm gonna set that by itself because it is a hazard to everything around it. Go over there, thank you. Hmm. Okay, here's another trash bracelet. This is a gold tone stud with a couple little rhinestones. These are adorable. Oh, that's so cute. They're like snowflakes. Some little hearts dangling down the bottom. It's missing some pearls and stuff. Oh man, that's too bad. But those are cute. Oh, well, I'll put them in a free pile. Or a lot, whatever. There's a green stud. Here is a... Oh, it's kind of on its card still. Weird. Anyway, it's a little, like... It's like a frosty green tone on a gold hoop deal earring. We've got shake shake. They're fighting again, sorry. Oh wait, they're not fighting, he's just yelling about something else. Who knows? I don't know. Okay, let's see. Okay, here's a little charm bracelet. It's a silver tone. It's got Oh, weird. It's like a coin purse with a little money sign hanging off of it. And this one is something. Is it a cell phone? Is it a flip phone cell phone? Is it that old? That's so funny. And they're not marked. That's fun. That's a lot of fun. I might go in my testing pile. It looks a little bit like silver. Wow. Okay. So I thought this was part of the necklace. So I was confused for a minute because it didn't seem to go with that one. But it's not. It's an earring. Okay, we got an earring here. Very mirrored, like a mandala almost. Almost. I don't know if it's pointy enough to be a mandala. Check out my box light and my other one. <laughs> okay. Okay, this is a Simply Vera. 
and it's a faux pearl. And it has this disco ball at the end with a lovely big tassel. And I know it is simply Vera because of this mark. It's hard to tell, but it looks like a little dude who's running. Is that the Simply Vera? Yeah, that is. Yeah. He looks like a dude who's running, but it's really like an S and a V. Very strange. I don't know, but I'll sell it because it's cute. Is this one out? I didn't even notice. Huh. Okay, let's see. Ah. Uh, this is a New York and Company. Shake it out a little bit. See if we can get some semblance of order here. It's still kind of knotted at the top. Oh, come here, buddy. Okay. Oh, we did it for the most part. This one's got to come over here, but it's knotted. Anyway, it's a multi chain. Multi chain. One of these goes over here, but it's hard because it's knotted. And it's got these disco balls and these like, acrylic gems and facets and stuff. And that's fun. We'll sell. My basket is full. <laughs> I'm having a good time. I hope you guys are having a good time. Oh, this is fun. This will go in my free pile. Just because. It's just an over-the-head necklace. It's got the paper beads and these plastic beads. And it's shiny and cute. But, yeah. Not worth selling. Oh, here's the shiny mirrored earring mate this is what I oohed about when I first pulled this guy out this is I'm pretty sure it's rose quartz chips oh that's beautiful mm, gosh that's lovely those are really beautiful I love strands of mm, just strands of semi-precious stones isn't that beautiful Look at how nice. Ah. It's like satisfying to hold. It feels good. And there's just a sweet little silver tone. Oh, it's a 925. 925. Silver tone, little enamel, swirly heart. Cute. Put that in my silver bin. This is cute too. Boink. <laughs> kind of fun. It's got a quarter and a dime and this like rainbow dream catcher with a gold feather. Interesting. Maybe it's for riches even though I don't know where 35 cents is going to get you. You remember when they upped the payphone from 25 to 35 cents and it totally wrecked my high school world? <sighs> Boys! Vacation, all I ever wanted. In case you tried to get away. I don't know if that's the the real words, but hey, I might pause this after looking at this one to see what's wrong with my boys. But anyway, this is like a very nice tone gold with little rhinestones all over. Kids. Let's just make sure all the rhinestones are here. Oh gosh, I'm not even in camera. Sorry, dudes. Guys, gender neutral term for my viewers. <laughs> are they all in here? So far so good. It's a little bit tight right there. Yeah, they're all there. That's fantastic. Okay, they seem to have calmed down. Excuse me while I take a sip. Boyos. I don't think they're going to need intervention, knock on wood. <laughs> Gosh, are we already at a half hour? Gosh, guys. Sorry, we're not getting so much like out of this to see all the treasures, but man, well, this is cute. It's a lovely little bib statement type necklace with the pretty tones of aqua and green and these little clear beads on a gold tone chain. 
with no mark, but that's fine. That's fine. I'm gonna try to get this one out of here. What's going on? Of course, an earring. It's always an earring. It's always something. Okay. Ooh, it's a beautiful little cloisonne earring. It is stuck in this chain. Like it moved in and will not consider moving out. My random train of thought. Okay, it's puffed. It's a puffed cloisonne earring in a kind of a teardrop shape like organic like this leaf thingy and these little yellow flowers that's really pretty oof I really like that okay this guy reminds me of something from Banana Republic or J Crew it does appear to be oh, goodness all there it's not marked but yeah there that cleaned up sell that cleaned up for sure look at my hands yuck let's grab a few more pieces out of here and then we'll probably call it a day on this pile because this is getting long <laughs> okay here's a choker from express express and it's just lace choker and i'll just make a choker lot or something oh this is cool though look at the the back of it has these little barrel type gemmed whatever you call them that's cute. Um, different pile so it doesn't get wrecked. How about this big thing? Hmm. Hey, that came out pretty easy. Okay, so this is another one of those collar cuffs. It is a silver tone, kind of small, and it does not appear to be marked. It seems well done. Trying it on. That's really cool. <laughs> it looks really good with my t shirt and athletic shorts, right? That's cool. Super cool. Okay, we've got. What's gonna come out? Hey, look at that. A little stretchy bead bracelet. Um, that was relatively easy. This is a memory wire necklace choker style with these drop hematite beads. That's really neat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That came out easily. Nice. Okay. This one is not marked. Does need to be cleaned. Appears to be all intact. Nice. Oi. Okay, what's this? This is, appears to be a bracelet. It's like a nice mesh. Oh, and it buttons. Cool. Oh, neat. That's really cool. Look at that. It's like chain maily, and it buttons. Cool. Oh, and it's marked SG. What does that mean? SG. That's neat though. I will sell the heck out of that. Ew, hair. <laughs> Big chunk of it. Okay. Here is a silver tone little clip on hoop. Here's a little earring back. Here's that match to the scale we found a video or two ago. Here are some more little dangle coins. Oh, both of them are in here. Two earrings with the dangly coins and some gem. Cute. It is nice when they're put together like that. A few more and then we'll stop. <laughs> okay, the reasonable bangle. That should be my band name, if I ever have a band. A Reasonable Bangle. <laughs> oh gosh, like I ever had ambitions to be a band name. To be in a band, nope, never. Oh, 
I used to like to sing, but not since I was made fun of for singing, like, too passionately, I guess, in the car once. My sister made fun of me, and now I don't like singing for people. Except my daughter, because she tells me to stop, and it's funny. <laughs> so, yeah, Deanna, if you're hearing this, then yeah, you made me stop singing. <laughs> not really, honey. I love you. Oof. This is ridiculous. There is probably some humongous magnet in the middle of all of this that is making this difficult for me. Okay. Can I get anything at all out of this? Man, we got some good stuff in here. 49ers, Raiders, Cowboys. This is fun, though, because when it's so sweet, super tangled like this it's like they don't want to even go through it so they miss a lot of stuff so there could be some big treasures knock on wood because my desk is wood under this thing excuse me okay i'm gonna be stubborn and get these little football charms out Hi, Eric. <laughs> we got the cowboys out. Okay. Okay. We got a cowboy dog tag. Very cool. Put those aside so they don't get lost. We got a 49ers, San Francisco 49ers dog tag. Mom. It kind of looks like they added these lobster clasps later. No, Very know. strange. What do you what do you need, Charlie? I guess I have a blanket. Your blanket? Yeah. Check in the kitchen or in the pantry. Check in the kitchen, but it's not there. I, that's the last place I saw it. I don't know, honey. I'm sorry. Did it get thrown behind the couch if somebody cleaned up? Yeah, somebody definitely added these later. Different. Oof. And then this one is the Raiders. Oakland Raiders. Cool. Okay, so I'm going to stop being stubborn, and we're going to stop there because we're nearing 40 minutes now. So, yeah, we will... Maybe I will continue to detangle these and we'll start the next video after I get those all untangled. So I hope you join me again tomorrow. I'll start with clean hands. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you made it this far. Oh, I should make a pile of the hair, too. I don't know. Oh, I'm going crazy. Anyway, we'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed my video. I've put links to my Poshmark, eBay, and anything else that may be of interest to you down in the description.